Hi, I'm John Hazard, and for me, it's all about food. Today I want to show you how to make a very simple dish. It's one of the most simplest dishes you could probably make. If you want to call this a five minute meal, you can call this a five minute meal. And it's basically a mahi mahi dish with a lemon marmalade and coriander sauce. So simple, simple ingredients, nothing complicated. You don't have to go and buy no wine or anything at all to cook this dish, but very tasty and very effective and it will make a phenomenal dinner or lunch. So let's just run through the ingredients quickly so you can see what it takes to make this phenomenal dish. So basically we're going to need some mahi-mahi and I went ahead and sliced it into like a three ounce portion, so very, very small. And I also made some black and spice mix, which is a mixture of paprika, cayenne pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and black pepper. Mix it all together really well and I'm going to coat the fish into that mixture and I'm going to sear my pan in a bit of oil, so I have some oil here for frying as well too, and that's going to give a nice uh, blackened color. And then to make this phenomenal sauce, which is so simple, really, really simple, recipes in the description below as well too, a bit of oil for frying, and I'm going to sweat some onions, no color and so translucent. I'm going to add some garlic and some scotch bonnet pepper, because you know I love scotch bonnet pepper. And then I'm going to add some lemon and lime juice, half the quantity I have here, Reduce that down by about half. Then I'm going to add some heavy cream or cooking cream and reduce down to about half as well too. And while that's reducing, I'm going to add some lemon marmalade. And the lemon marmalade is something I made and I left a recipe as well in the description below. But you can also go out and buy some orange marmalade if you want to from the supermarket. And then to finish the sauce, I'm going to be having some cilantro. My phone is ringing. Let me check my phone and I'm coming right back. So I'm back, my phone was ringing, and uh, I'm sorry about that, the phone was ringing, but I want to continue this here. So very, very simple, so let's just get cooking. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my black and spice mix, and I'm going to sprinkle a bit of this mix in the bottom of this dish here, and then I'm going to just lay my mahi-mahi down in here, and I'm going to coat each side well, well, not too much because I don't want it to burn or anything of that nature. And I'm going to coat each side with black and spice mix. So here we go. So I'm just going to take this black and spice mix now and I'm coating this side. And what I do normally is I season the plate so that when I put one side down, it already has black and spice mix. I don't really have to normally turn it over to coat the other side. So we have this beautiful black and spice mix right on top here. All right, so what are we going to do now? I'm going to move this from here and let's just turn on our stove. Good. I'm going to get this at a high heat. Let me just get my pan here. Okay, so we got this here. I'm going to get this at a high heat. I have the oil I mentioned to you for cooking, so I'm going to add some of that oil in here. Just a little bit to coat the bottom of the pan itself. I'm going to move this oil around, just move this around. All right, so that's heating and I'm just going to check my mahi mahi, which is here. And you see, it's really nicely coated. Good, so we have all the sides coated nicely. So all the sides are nicely coated. I'm just making sure that they're well coated in this nice spice mix. And again, the recipe for this is in the description below as well too. And it's so simple to make, but so tasty. All right, so that's well coated. This is getting nice and hot. And then what we're gonna do now, let's just check one. So it's not yet hot enough for me. So we're just gonna allow that to get a little hotter. I'm just gonna wipe off my hands here. But we want this here to be uh, not smoking hot, we don't want it to burn, but we want it to be nice and heated. So 
so we could sear the fish nicely on all sides. And with this particular mahi-mahi, it's a little thick, so we may have to pop this in the oven, but I have a solution for that. If you don't want to go into the oven with it, what we're going to do when we make our sauce, we're going to add the fish into our sauce. And we're going to cook it out just a little bit in the sauce, and that's what's going to finish cooking it. Let's just try another piece and see what happens here. Okay, it's getting hot. Uh, we leave that there for a little bit longer. But it's getting nice and hot. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add all of the mahi-mahi in here. And we're going to get, we're looking for a nice golden color with this mahi-mahi. So, just adding this into this pan. And we want to get a really beautiful sear here. Okay, just going to get a bit of oil on this side here. Looking good. And when you add stuff to a pan as well, try not to be too anxious and move around the stuff that's in the pan, the fish or, well in this case it's fish or it could be chicken or it could be a piece of steak. Just try to leave it and let it sear on one side before you move it on to the other side. So I'm allowing this to sear, I can smell it, it smells so good. And this is a fresh batch of black and spice mix, which I made this afternoon just for you, really, just so I can show you this. But it's looking gorgeous, actually. It's looking really amazing. So we line out to sear. And when that's finished searing, and it's seared well on both sides, we can go ahead and stir our sauce. But I want to get this process done first. And this is going to take you no time at all. Once you have the ingredients, and it's very simple ingredients, this will be finished in no time. And you can get on with dinner. This evening for dinner, I'm going to have this with a bit of basmati rice, just some plain basmati rice. And I'll find a salad or something to eat this with as well. Okay, so searing nicely. I'm going to go ahead and start turning these. So we're getting a beautiful stir on these here. Wow, looking lovely. A really lovely stir. Wow. So it's looking really good. And mahi mahi is a really good fish for this because mahi mahi I find can withstand many applications. It's good for fortune, it's good for searing, it's good for simmering, it's good for many applications. So mahi mahi is one of the best fish you can use for this application. If you want to as well, you can also use red snapper as well. Uh, that also works nice as well too, or barracuda. Or you can also use salmon. If you have some salmon, you can use some salmon as well too. All right, so that's stirring beautifully. Wow, that's, that's looking lovely. Oh. Looking very good. Let me just check the other side. And what we will do is because the fish, as I mentioned, is a little thick, we're gonna finish this in the sauce. And that finishing the sauce is also gonna contribute some additional flavor to our sauce as well. Okay, stirring beautifully on all sides. All right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this off the stove. Lovely. And we're going to stir our sauce now. So sauce is very simple. We're going to add a bit of olive oil in here. A bit of olive oil. You just want a bit, because what we want to do is to sweat the vegetables. Again, as I discussed with you some time before, since we're sweating, and we don't want any color, we don't have to heat the oil, we can put the onions into cold oil. So we add the onions in here. I'm gonna add also to the scotch bonnet pepper, along with the garlic. And what we're gonna do is to sweat these vegetables. I'll take my spoon, I have the heater high, and I'm gonna take my spoon just to move this around a bit. Take a lid, like so. And we're gonna cover this pot. And we're gonna allow this here just to settle for a few minutes until the onions are nice and translucent. And when I say translucent, that they're opaque. You can't really see through them, but you have no color. It's nice and clear, uh, but no brown in at all of the onions. So that's what we're gonna do. And then once this is all sweated, 
need to add some lime and lemon juice and I have some lime juice here which I squeezed and I also have some lemon juice as well too. Fresh lime and fresh lime juice. No, no bottle stuff. I don't like to use anything from the bottle. So no bottle lime juice from the supermarket. Get fresh limes and get fresh lemons if you want to have a phenomenal sauce as well too. So all this fresh, all this fresh is what we want to go for. So let's just check this out. I can smell it, it smells so good. And the thing with my lid here, it has a little hole here to allow the steam to escape. And with this steam escaping, I can smell the flavor of the onions and the garlic permeating through this uh, pot cover. Wow. So we're just gonna give this a stir. It smells so good. I just wanna get it started. Now the thing with this too, what I did is I sliced the onions in a French cut, or some people call it a julienne cut. And I'm not going to, and I also sliced the garlic, and I also sliced as well too thinly the scotch bonnet pepper. And I am not going to strain this out because I like to have all this in my actual sauce for garnish when I do the fish. So all this is going to stay inside there. So let's just check it. Wow, it's looking so good. We're just going to continue to sweat this for just a few minutes more. Yeah, that's looking good. So. What I'm going to do now, we're going to go ahead and add half of this lemon juice. The other half will be for finishing, and half of the lime juice. We now will allow this here to reduce by half. That's what we want to do, reduce this by half. And that's going to intensify the flavor of the lemon and lime. Just reduce this down. It's looking so good. Once it's reduced, we're gonna add this heavy cream into it. So it's coming down and you can always use your hands like this to smell it and it smells so good. And that's reducing down lovely. And this is, um, this is a process you don't wanna rush. So you wanna take your time and do this as well too. Now, as you can see, more, sometimes generally people, we would use like some white wine to help reduce this down. But as you can see, this is a very inexpensive sauce. So you don't have to go out and purchase any white wine or anything of that nature. We're just using some very basic ingredients. But the flavor profile of this dish is out of this world. It's outstanding. So this is quite reduced quite a bit. So we're gonna go ahead now and add our heavy cream. So we added this heavy cream. And what we will do now is to bring this to a boil. I'm gonna give this just a little stir. And we're gonna bring this here to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, we will lower it to a simmer. Now one thing you sh I should note, I'm gonna put on the cover so that I can come to a boil faster as well. One thing you should note about cream as well too is you have to be very careful with cream because once cream comes into a boil, it can overflow and then you can get it all in your stove and you can have a mess. So you want to just be very careful with it and watch it. So once this comes to a boil, I'm going to lower it just to simmer or if it can boil without overflowing, it depends on the height of your pot as well too. We just will allow this to boil and it'll be a lot faster as well too. So I'm allowing this to come to a boil and instead of me reducing this by half, since my fish is not totally finished, I'm probably just gonna reduce it by say a quarter. Then I'm gonna add the fish into the sauce and continue to cook, and then I'm gonna let the fish cook in the sauce here. So this is coming up to a boil beautifully. So as you can see, I start seeing ripples of, boil, of, of uh, bubbles around here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the orange marmalade and now add to this sauce. Oh, sorry, lemon marmalade. And again, the recipe for this is in the description below. And we're just gonna mix this all in nicely. And this gives a really wonderful lemon, sweetish flavor to the actual dish. And then when we finish with the cilantro, while well, you have a sauce that's out of this world, while well, it's outstanding. So what we're gonna do now is to allow this to simmer. Cover this, allow this to simmer. And then once this is simmered, we're gonna go ahead and finish this sauce off and we're gonna get the fish in here and we're gonna continue and finish this dish so we can eat this dish because I am really, really hungry and I'm looking forward for dinner. Well, as you can see, our sauce has come up to a beautiful boil. What I will do now is I'm gonna go ahead and season this with a bit of 
You can use some black pepper in this, by the way. I don't usually use black pepper with white sauces, but you can use a little black pepper in here, that's fine. So we're gonna use a little black pepper here to season this. If you have a pepper mill, it's even better with freshly ground black pepper, even more flavorful. Then we're gonna add a bit of salt. Just to get, just, some, just salt and pepper to taste. Give this a stir. And this is looking really lovely. Oh wow. So you want to get a nice sauce consistency. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to taste this here now first. Let's just give this a taste. And I just to check the seasoning, see whether we need more salt or more pepper. That's lovely. We need a bit more salt. Then what I'm going to do now, we're going to add now the remainder of the lime juice and the remainder of the lemon juice. We add those two. I'm going to give this a stir. I'm going to go ahead now and add the cilantro. Wow. That's going to give so much flavor. And then what we're going to do now, just a little bit more pepper in there, and a bit more salt. Great. Simple dish, very simple. Give it another stir. And now we want to finish the fish in here. So I take the fish now that I had seared. You can skip this step and pour the sauce over the fish if you have an oven that you can just put the fish into. I'm adding the fish right in here. And we're gonna simmer this for just a few minutes and this is pretty much like a warm pot meal. Wow. Okay, fish added. And what we will do now is go ahead and pop the lid on. I'm gonna lower the heat. You don't need to have it high anymore. You want the fish to cook out slowly. When you simmer, you simmer at a very low temperature. I'm gonna lower the heat now and allow this now to cook out at a low temperature until the fish is just cooked. Mahi Mahi is gonna cook quite fast. I would say within about three to five minutes or less, this here will be finished. We will taste one more time to check the seasoning and then our dish is finished. How simple is that? So I'm gonna allow this to uh, continue cooking for a few minutes and then I'm gonna come back and check on it. So let's check on our dish right now and see where we are. It smells really good actually. Wow. That looks good, that looks delicious. That looks delicious. Wow, that looks so good. So I just wanna taste that now. I got a fresh spoon here, so I'm gonna taste this now and see how it's taste. But it's looking so good. Let's just taste this now again. That is absolutely amazing. Wow, that is amazing. That is so delicious. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead now and just plate this up so we can go ahead and taste this. Wow. Look at all that beautiful garnish there, look. Wow. That's amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste this now and see how this tastes. This looks so good. Wow. Mmm. That is out of this world. That is so amazing. 
Really amazing. Phenomenal flavors. I can taste the nice candied lemon marmalade, the onions, the garlic, cilantro. This is truly an outstanding dish. Wow. I'm going to enjoy this. So, if you've enjoyed this, please send me some likes. Please subscribe. Please ask me any comments at all about this particular dish as well to the recipes also listed below. And I look forward to seeing you on another show. And again, I'm John Hazard. And for me, it's all about food. <laughs>